to learn um, and be a part of a huge organization that did things right. Um, I, I think oftentimes, you know, we work our day-to-day -day jobs, but we don't realize that while we're on those jobs, it's an operation, pay attention. Mm -hmm. um, and I happen to be in operations, so that works. So challenges to be an entrepreneur wasn't really the challenge. The reason why I became an entrepreneur is because I understood my purpose. In 2013, I clearly understood my purpose. And how that came about was I would do, you know, speak to people in different environments, uh, whether I was in corporate America or teaching a class of fitness of some sort, and people will, they, they just wanted to be around me. They wanted to ask questions. They wanted to be around my energy. And I didn't feel like I had the opportunity to give them the information and the, the nuggets and the experience and the wisdom that I had already persevered and learned. So when I happened to run across a yoga class and I'm like, oh, this is the platform. I see you, higher power. This is a platform to really deliver on what my purpose is and my calling, and that's to help empower people and help people understand that self-esteem is a lot greater than um, anything that we can imagine, right? Um, the more we love ourselves, that's the more we have the ability to love others. Um, yeah, and the, um, one of the st what I stand by is the word stellar. And basically what that stands for is strength, strength to help you navigate through difficult challenges, tenacity to never give up, enlightenment to always understand that there's something more that you can learn, there's something more out there. Love, always leading with love. Um, leadership, leadership is a must and that's taking ownership of any situation that you come across. And sometimes we are handed with responsibilities that we are, um, that we're called to do and that has, we have to be a leader in that aspect and adaptability. Adaptability is to be able to adjust. Um, as an entrepreneur, you're constantly adjusting and making things happen. And the last but not least is resilience. It's to never give up, is continue staying at what we call tapas, which is fire, um, staying in the fire, because uh, through all the challenges and growth that I've experienced, there's always been something better on the other side of that as long as you stay the course. So it was more of a purpose for me, and corporate America helped me to navigate um, easier into my own entrepreneurship um, endeavors. As far as challenges after that, I think COVID-19, and I, I really connect with you when you talk about your mom, because even as an entrepreneur, you're going to lose people in your life, very important people in your life. And you wonder, why am I, you know, how am I gonna continue with this entrepreneur thing? Because these people are most important. You have to learn that, um, a choice is to be wounded or wiser and more stronger and use the loss that you have to continue moving forward. Um, and uh, COVID-19, of course, like I had to figure it out. <laughs> that was a challenge. Yeah.